So blessed, so blessed. Received an email. Email. It said. It said. Dear Zach. Dear Zach. Dear Zach. Dear Zach. Claim your coupon. Coupon. Claim your coupon. Claim your coupon. Claim your coupon. I said. I said. I said. Brody. Brody. Our love is taboo. Our love is taboo. Love is taboo. Oh. Oh, big oh, blast to everybody. everybody. Of course, we got Alexandra, we got, Alexandria. We got Sarah. Sarah, we got Alyssa, we got the surreal chemist, we got Paul, we got, we got, Paul. We got David. David, we got Hayden, we got, hey, we got, hey, we got everybody, everybody hanging, hanging out. out. Feel so good. I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed. 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 It's nice, it's a nice day to be blessed. Thanks for coming, coming back around, everybody. I know last week was a little stressful. Okay. It was a little stressful. But it's not now. I'm getting some kind of a fun feedback. <laughs> it's, it's cool, though. I don't know what it is. Is it still here? Yeah, it is. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it just sounds like my uh, my voice, but deeper, just after I speak. So it's good. I heard y'all are going by the name Ponus now, which is cool. 
Support that. Support bonus. I think that's good. I think, you know, hey, whatever, man. You know, whatever floats your friggin' boat. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. No, oh, no, I can still hear the weird feedback thing. But hey, I think it's kind of cool. I think it sounds good. It's kind of a friggin' glatch. Pownus. Chilling with Pownus. Pownus Malonus. Eat psychedelic drugs. Arrow. Okay. <laughs> like, um, uh, <laughs> that's normal. That's normal. <laughs> Awkward. 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 Bonus is being Bonus awkward. Is being awkward. Is being mom, awkward. mom, mom, come pick me come up. Pick me up. Bonus is being Bonus weird. Is being weird. Bonus is being weird. Bonus is being weird. Schmitty pinchers. Gabe Kalemo, Kalemo, Gabe Kalemo, Gabe Kalemo. Come on, man. Come let's on, do man. some D Venom therapy. therapy. You're being boring. Being boring. Being boring. Being boring. Being boring. Yo, I love oh, the Astro. I love the Astro. Love the Astro. Last time I was Last here, though, I was here, though, really, 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 really bored. Really bored. Not much, Not to, do much to do in the Astro. The Astro. Uh, it does get a little bit boring up here, and then, um, uh, you know, there's, sometimes people show up, you don't really want them to be here. You don't, you don't have a say in who's here, unlike the yurt, where, you know, we have a one-strike policy in the yurt. If you blow it once, you're out until you come back in, which is allowed. There's a process for that. Pwn us. <laughs> Uh, no, the feedback's fine. It it sounds pretty cool. It sounds like um, it sounds like Bowser. It sounds like Bow Bowser's laughing after every word I speak, which is cool. Chopo, Chopo, bless. Chopo, bless. Ponus, huh? What's the deal with this Ponus stuff? I've been hearing about. It's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not. I haven't really been in the astral that long or nothing, but. I didn't know, I mean, I didn't make any friends here that I didn't already know. We got Lord Michael to, to the left of me, Lord Michael to the right. Um, but I've known Lord Michael since, I don't know, 1975. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, I'm it's happy to have you all here. It's really good. It's, um, you know, so I guess, okay. Recap. Freaking recap. Help. Help. Uh, last week we all, uh, well, we all sparked harsh bark. Is what we did. Uh, and uh, you know, as as that as that tends to do, we were all uh, annihilated on a pile of discarded produce and noodles. And that is how we escaped police custody, uh, it, as, as a as a death cult would do, if you will. 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 So, uh, I mean, feeling pretty good now. I don't really have a plan for incarnating again. Chopo sure as heck would like to do that, but that's things are. You got to wait till the heat is off a little bit you know and it, it it's, time is on a different scale up here so it may only be a couple days before it's been years uh, but things were pretty hairy down there i mean um we brought the entire staff of perump natural foods to the astral with us they sparked the harsh bark as well a uh, little thursday boy saved chopo in the in the final minutes before the police broke in so uh yeah it was a heck of a week, huh? <laughs> it 
But the good news is that everybody's here and we're all just kind of blissed out in the astral. I mean, every once in a while, some weird stuff happens here. I think... I think maybe somebody back in the uh, material realm got a hold of the wrong stuff because every once in a while I, I see a like a being that's really in pain, very inflamed, kind of looks like an Alex Gray painting. I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that. I, I thought that all the harsh bark came with us, and that in fact we, we had smoked all of it that was left. Hard as hell, you know. These things they come, they go. Uh, Harsh Bark is a river man. What? What do you think? You think you can take it with you, man? man. You think you're gonna you're get, gonna a, get high a high score, score in the game, in the game, of, game of life, life man? man? Come on, man. 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 Live for Live now. For now. Be Venom Be there, 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 there. Tom Leap and Thorn Scrub. Scrub. That's what that's life's what all life's about, all man. man. Hashtag, Hashtag man. man. So anyway, um, I think you'll all be uh, very happy to see some of our friends here in the astral. And I mean, why? You know, I don't. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to take that from you i don't want to want to want to keep that from you so let's say hi to some of our friends like mr dick spargel everybody dick spargel, dick spargel. spargel. what's up dick what have you been up to man enjoying the astral wait what's that what do you want to do you want to crawl around on the ground okay <laughs> go for it buddy <laughs> I won't stop you. <laughs> Look at you go, dude. Shame about your hands. But, uh, other than that, you look great. Whoa, whoa, she's coming straight for us. Whoa! <laughs> Watch out, Conus. Make way. <laughs> oh, Dick, come on, man. <laughs> Whoa. As in life, so in death, huh? Whoa, buddy. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, Dick. Well, good to see you, Dick. Glad, glad you, glad you made it. I hope your hands heal up from all that digging. You know, that's not. It's probably not easy for you to open bottles or. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye, Dick. So you see, I mean, everything's fine, you know, people are scared of death and just, it's just a little bit silly. Um, I mean, you should take care of your hands as we just saw. I mean, really, Dick sacrificed his appendages um, to break little Thursday boy out of prison by digging tunnels and we, and we bless Dick for that. But um, yeah, I don't know, maybe some gloves next time or something. I mean, he's, you know. He's got limited resources, and we understand this, and we bless this. But, um, you know, Dick is, Dick is a classic. Fuck, what the fuck? Did you see that? That's what I'm talking about. That's the, This Alex Gray painting guy keeps showing up. It's really kind of kind of harsh as the mellow of the astral. I don't think that's an astral being. I mean, it's, I don't know. We all have have our skin still. Do you know what, do you know what I'm saying? So... I don't know. Anyway, hey, let's get started, huh? Fuck! I don't- I don't know what that is. And it's... concerning. I don't really like Alex Gray paintings. And to see one in- in the flesh, quite literally the flesh, no skin, is, uh... 
it's not the best. It's not what I had planned. It's not what I wanted. wanted. In my astral experience. 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 But here we are. Here we are. Just doing what we can. can. Fuck. 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 I don't know what. No. I don't know what that is. What that is. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. Let's get started. Let's get started, huh? Let's get started. Let's get started with our videos. Hey, you guys want to watch some funny videos? Funny videos. Some funny videos. I got one. I got one. I found one. I found one. I finally found one. I found one. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh yes. Yes. Bless. Bless. Look at this. DNA and frequency upgrades merge. Oh shit. And welcome. So, in this journey, we are going to go on a journey together with the Monty's beings. So, I'm shouting the Monty's. Uh, a lot of upgrades. And I do it for the Monty! Um, rainbow frequencies, cosmic pure, cosmic rainbow frequencies. Um, together with the Monty's beings. Oh, Jesus. So I'm channeling them, and they are okay. also... Oh, hey, really quick, I'm going to I'm gonna mention this. This isn't... Listen, I'm not like, I'm not trying to sell you anything. Sell you anything. I'm not a salesman. I'm not a salesman. I'm not a salesman. But today after the stream I'm going to go on on uh we're going to I'm going to keep going uh for the for the patrons. We're doing an we're doing an extra blast, an extra stream blast for heck, half an hour, 45 minutes longer uh, after this stream. So if you if you are on the Patreon, just go there for the link. It'll be a, a YouTube link. Um do whatever the heck you want with it. I don't I don't freaking care. Ew, ew. It's not it's not to keep it from other people, but it's to give it to you, the the you patrons. We bless you. Um, so we'll probably we'll we'll get into it'll be intimate. It's gonna be intimate, all right. So here's here's the freaking Monty, huh? Assisting and supporting, and uh, yeah, they're merging with us as well. So we're gonna go on a journey to the Monty's planet. Um, you Sign will me up. swim in a beautiful, beautiful liquid. These are these are big promises. We're going to the planet. Something about liquid. I don't know, man. I'm oinked. Light crystal bed in a rainbow cave. So you travel there with your light body, and you will receive upgrades and healings. You will merge and upgrade your divine inner child energy. Uh, that's very nice energy, and it's very good to have that now on one hundred percent. Overselling this, uh, always <laughs> actually throughout our journey. Um, so it's focusing on that. There's a channel message coming through because uh, I know that the people, the souls that are uh, joining, or they told me that all the souls that are joining in group consciousness because you will tune in like me. through no time no space so i i felt all and astral yeah, so beautiful message coming uh, coming through now you gotta hear this message all right it's blessed it's a blessed message it's a blessage uh, members so it will i know it happens later we can skip the middle huh who needs the meat of the sandwich i'm here for bread <laughs> I mean, can you believe it? I've never heard a message like such as this. I've never heard a message such as this. This is Muntis from the Mantis planet. <laughs> Dr. Mommy, yes, I remember chant. The Gregorian chants, a quick story. A friend of mine playing music once received a request from an audience member who said, do you know something by, I can't remember, it was like, do you know something by Green Day by chance? My friend only heard the by chance part 
but he uh, he heard it as by chant, and he said, "No, I don't know anything by chant." And he ca he continued playing his music, and so we repeat this to my friend often. Hey, man, do you know anything by chant? Now, I don't know what this is supposed to be doing for us. <laughs> but uh, when, when it happens, maybe we'll know. And while you're bathing in this beautiful energy, what? is rainbow cosmic frequencies. Yeah. See yourself now traveling up with your light body. Okay, moving up. And now we activate the group Merkaba. Oh, I like that. That's like a limousine for your light body. Fields. Feel everyone's energies in group consciousness because this traveling is happening through no time and space. Oh, I bless it. So there are many beings in this group Merkaba with you. And now we travel to the mantis beings planet. All right, now, show of hands, show of, show of mandibles, who, who else had a negative connotation attached with the mantis beings? I, for one, certainly the heck did. I mean, I don't know, this video cuts off there. Um, but there's more, I think, okay. This is a, no, this is a different channel. Wow. Um, this is also about mantises. This is a female mantis encounter. Look at that. Check this out, Good bonus. Evening, everyone. My name is Samantha Mowat. I'm a clairvoyant psychic and a contactee. And tonight I'd like to discuss the new encounter I had on <laughs> Pardon me, on March 9th, 2014. Arn. I'd like to discuss an encounter I had. Arn! 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 I don't know. I mess up my speech all the time. It's fine. That's just kind of a funny one. What is that? Fireweed behind you? I have what is known as an astral projection encounter, which is where your soul leaves your body while you are sleeping, and it travels elsewhere within the multiverse. Sometimes in this dimension, sometimes on to different places onto the on this planet, or even now. No disrespect, my friend. A little bit of a mantis resemblance. Am I wrong? Am I incorrect in saying that perhaps this is a bug? somewhere else in the multiverse. So what happened for me was as my soul left my body, I traveled somewhere else and I had forgotten that I was astral projecting when I suddenly found myself in a new age shop. <laughs> Alexandria and has met the mantis. As I found myself there, I noticed that I was in the presence of Tell me, Joshua, and Joshua, tell me a, a premonition that you've had in your dreams, please. Uh, the, right, the mantis, they have their own laws. Um, Toilet train your twins, please. Mantis Toboggan, hello. Greetings. Mine Mantis Toboggan. Uh, Bugs Life. <laughs> Sugar, water, I'm loving this chat. Boy oh boy oh boy, let's skip forward a little bit to this bug tale, to this bug story, to this ants. What it is they're receiving and applying into their day-to-day -day life was something we're celebrating. And so she told me that the reason why she had put on this facade, this change in appearance, was to be considerate towards me and to make me more comfortable. She okay, right. So it's so that okay, we maybe buried the lead in the mantis encounter. Me, we did continuous readings for a very long period of time. The next thing that happened was when we finally finished all of our readings for the day, she and I were sitting down and we were talking. And as we were talking, after a little while, I said, so how long have you been pretending to be this human girl for? And then the next thing that I knew, her energy was becoming vibrant and joyful and her energy body became- What is this, Donnie Derko? 
What is this? Benny Spanko? Come on, tell me about it. Came bigger. And she was so happy. She's like, oh, yay, you are psychic, yay. Because for her, encountering humans who are willing to acknowledge their psychic abilities, to trust the information they receive, to really connect what it is they're receiving and apply it into their day to day life. Such as bugs. Her appearance was she really didn't want me to be frightened and she wanted for us to have a good experience with connecting to one another. Well, I'm going to go find somewhere else equally as beautiful to go make another video. I'll talk to you soon. It's Peace, love, and light. Bye. Hi. One more thing. Okay. I forgot to mention, I woke an hour or two later to the same Manta energy presence within the room. Now, I heard her say to me, go back to sleep, Samantha Mowat. And when she said this, I instantly listened. I thought, okay. I said, but my name's Daniel. I said, but my name's Daniel. Ben, Daniel. That's what I said. I'm safe. It's completely alright for you to be here. This is fine. Oh, Stop it! But the next morning, when I was thinking about the encounter that I had just shared, I wasn't able to figure out whether her communicating with me was clear audience, which is hearing on a psychic level, or whether I was that? having a telepathic exchange with her. So that is something I'd like for you to take into account in your Who cares? Bugs. You met bugs. Don't care. Hello, Let's talk about spiritual astral sex uh, in one moment. We have some stories. So Joshua. Okay. So other night, I dreamed that my brother came and borrowed my car without asking and left his. And then he did it. But I saw him in the process and was able to get some things I needed out first, which is why I was upset in the dream. So you had a dream that your that your brother Denny took your car. And, but then you woke up and you knew about it, so you thought, well, I should get my stuff out of my car in case Denny does that. Correct? Corrections? Corrections? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Oh. And then we've got, I mean, we've got some mantis stories in here. People, talk to me about your mantis stories. I know I just freaking farted that, that bug story, but I actually found it very interesting. Um... <laughs> An out of body experience only to read. Yeah, man, I astrally read the Da Vinci Code. It was really good. Um, yeah, I don't know about this this meat boy that keeps interrupting us, but so let's uh, you know. Hey, I want to hear this guy talk about sex. That's what we're all we're all thinking it. I just said it. That's right. I said it. Friends, welcome. Uh, this video is about um, astral sex or out of body sex and uh, there's a few different types of astral or out of body sex. Uh, now um, there are those that can astral project quite easily and they, they go in mind to the astral plane basically and some project in spirit there also Slimer. where they're there yeah. in, in their spirit form in their etheric body which is the spirit body which is identical to what we are at this time on this plane because it's a, a double of our own physical body I need the in Jeep. every way. So, uh, it's great, you know, astral sex, you know, out in the universe or wherever it might be, a spirit, you know, a presence there that you have sex with and uh, eroticism, sensuality, you know, and you have much deeper feelings because you can start to sense each other's emotions and such like, it's great. Here's one thing they don't tell you about being astral and your um, astral, body. astral body. Astral body. Your glands. Your glands. Your glands. They stay. They stay. They stay. What you're seeing is just a representation of Chopo, but Chopo's glands, fully physical, glandular. Anything glandular is heightened. I mean, it. Not only is it here. It's. It's really, it's, it, it can really cook. Do you know what I'm saying? Your glands, I mean, they can really fucking cook, man. I, I need some glands that can really fucking cook. Man. Shut up! But there are implications. <laughs> and, you know, there's many people that do astral projects and feel there's no implication to it. That, you know, maybe they're in a relationship and such like and they're having sex. You know, in their astral projections with other spirit. And uh, those spirit that uh, are out there in the astral plane and such like. Uh, so the implication is, uh, if you wouldn't go and have sex with a stranger, 
don't have sex with strange spirit either. But, you know, if you... But if you do. <laughs> but on the other hand, if you do... <laughs> hey! Um, yeah, so if Ponus wanted to have a uh, sexual communion with Slimer, one only need uh, chant Venkman, 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 Venkman. Uh, and Slimer should appear, and then, I mean, Slimer's down to clown, generally speaking, I mean, uh, you know, Slimer, Slimer does have a menstrual cycle, but it's, like, way different, like, it's not the same, like, at all as what you're used to, like, it's not even close to, like, what you're used to, like, at all, so I wouldn't worry about not it. Not bothered about that, then, yeah. I mean, there's the astral plane, and, you know, if you're single, you can go out there and you can do what you like, but that is a real person. If you're having sex with a spirit, that's a real person as real as anybody is down here. So, yeah, you can do that. Um, so, uh, there's many that speak about the sexual experiences of uh, having sex out of body or uh, in the astral planes and such, like in the universe, wherever it happens to be. And they say it's better than the real thing, some of them. But uh, obviously they haven't been with the right person, I'd probably say. So... bye ai ai I hear you, Neil. Neil's got 46,000 subscribers, so he's doing something right. Um, care for some spiritual rap, anyone? Yeah, so let me tell you about a story. My mind woke up and it was sounding kind of boring. I okay. Now, this is tough. When you're writing, the first line, the first line, the first thing you say, often the, the most difficult part. Um, so it's... But I, I really do... I would like to offer some criticism on, the, on the, the opening line, let me tell you about a story. Now, this implies that you will not be telling the story, but rather will be describing the story, perhaps an abridged version, you know, perhaps saying uh, something like, um, you know, uh, Romeo and Juliet is like, uh, some kids fall in love and then they die. You know, that's like a description of a story, or maybe you could say like, it's suspense, it's suspenseful, it's a thriller, it's a spy novel, that kind of thing. Just maybe we can work on this next time. Other than that, but hey, don't let don't let me stop you. Come on, let's let's bring it home. I told my story to my mother, but she said to me, "Son, sit down and talk to another human being who really, really cares." And if you have to stare, mind your step because the steps going to the top are kind of dangerous. Take the elevator and buy a plane ticket. I said, "No, I'm gonna follow my own heart." Starting from the bottom, I don't even have a car. I'm walking around with okay. my eyes down closed. Now, this is refreshing. I don't even have a car. Honest. That's, I appreciate that. That's honesty in, in, uh, in music. It's not, um, certainly is not uh, braggadocious. Okay, so I'll uh, continue. Looking inside, reversing the windows to my inner soul and who I truly am. And if I find this place, I will share Dr. it again Mommy, with funny. the whole humanity and the human race and all the creatures running around win the place. I'm a winner's man. I always understand what's going on in the world in my inner head. I never miss anything that is happening. I stay in calm and peaceful at the end of the day. And you can see me meditating all the time, doing yoga and trying to just keep mine, staying out of trouble and staying out of people never getting involved with the police and all these thieves running around stealing diamonds and gold and if you look he did say staying out of people and i bless that yeah you know what you might not have any business being in people so keep it up inside there's something beautiful and i can show you more within and then without and if you close <laughs> your eyes you will be rich no doubt i can promise you Alexander. one damn thing in your life it never began and never ending eternal eternality is your true nature my friend and my g my homies from the red to the east come on now let's sit down and in the peace and shed some love and shed some light on the G's and everybody from the woman to the animals we all become one we all live under the same sun solar power is your only run okay. and if you live now how do we feel about that line everyone from the women to the animals 
I don't know. Just put I'm putting it out there. The law to the highest, you will know. Being quiet is the beautifulest thing in your life, and everything you do might be a lie. But I'll tell you right now, I came from a bad childhood. I used to right. rob houses, used to drink alcohol. Fuck. This is pre Malone. What? But he's saying some post things. He used to do this. He used to do that. But it certainly is pre Malone, if you're asking me. Girls every day, but now I'm sitting down Man. trying to stay silent You'd within my mind, within my Aaron heart, Ells. listening, watching the water parts away, and contemplate your life and your existence, and you will know the way until you're in the truth. I don't know. It's just spiritual rap. Yeah, you'd see this guy at Aaron L's on Valencia or God forbid Nazario's. Is that place still there? Don't know. This one's better. We are the fucker and the shit of the fucky going to exercise his elementary. Now there's the first line. We are the we fucker. Are the fucker. We are the fucker. The shadow. The shadow. The fucky. The fucky. The fucky. I mean, I just want to see that written down. We are the fucker. Let's hear it again. We are the fucker and the shadow the fucky going to exercise his elementary. Simply accept when the shadows corrupt. Corruption is impossible when you're going up. Up was the ladder, the ladder of the light. You are wise and so powerful divine. Just be kind, the demons of any kind cannot corrupt the head of your mind. Realize the power of your mind. It is at its best when you let the light shine. You are equipped against envy and pride. When you know your own power, you will be fine. The access for beginners is easy. Follow your breath Ooh. with your whole consciousness. Uh. You are no longer playing chess. You are the only consciousness. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm glad Aaron Ells is still there. I know I'm frozen, by the way. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm glad Aaron Ells is still there, even though I never really went there. Um, my roommates and I referred to it as Greasy Pizza from Greasy Boys. Um, what are we doing next? Um, uh, oh, oh, shit. All right, what time is it? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this is where we're going. This is where we're going. So, uh... All right, this is David Avocado Wolf, and I'm here with my friend David Wilcock. And David, tell us a little bit about how you just created an internet storm with that video that went out there. Okay, uh, these two clowns, um, air your grievances in the chat, please, uh, concerning these two clowns. Um, we haven't shown a lot of David Avocado Wolf uh, on here, uh, and I think that it, it requires um, perhaps a bit more focus than I've been willing to give uh, to to he. Um, but this is some Dave and Dave. Really, uh, what we're gonna do, uh, a quick recap of David Wilcox's situation. He has been banned from many platforms, he can't seem to figure out uh, the technical aspects of running a, a, a YouTube live stream. And uh, he had to get some dental work done. In his own words, his mouth needed a full rebuild. So we're gonna hop around in this video and then we're gonna go see if David Wilcock, uh, if his situation has Im improved at all, uh, because I hope that it has. So, Ponus, here we go. Tell us a little bit about the thinking that went behind it. And if those folks who are listening right now or watching don't know about it, if they can find it, what is it called? It's called 2012 Enigma. It was the number one most viewed video on Google December 1st last year. The premise is this. Okay. How do you get those stats? The number one viewed video on Google on December 1st, <laughs> on one day. I would love to see these reports. Um... Perhaps this is pre-Google and YouTube joining. That's possible. Um, yeah. There's a lot of things happening in the world right now. You have ETs visiting us, more and more cosmic experiences people are having in their daily lives. You're also seeing earth changes. You're seeing too much water, not enough water. And all sorts of things like this are happening, not just on Earth, but throughout the solar system. 
there's more storms on planets yeah, and things are heating up. Yeah, we call it interplanetary climate change. And so that's the real smoking gun that shows us that 2012 is not simply another year. It's actually a significant event which involves the transformation of the human spirit to a higher evolution. Now, I have all the evidence that shows DNA uh, actually can be transmuted from one species to another, and that that energetic process has driven fossil evolution on Earth in these million-year cycles of time, 62 million-year cycles and 26 million years. Damn, you know, back then, I think it was really easy to sound like he knew what the heck you were talking about. <laughs> Just in terms of these, like, vague... You know, 2012 is gonna. Oh, all these things are gonna happen. Let's let's see him at um at uh what is this place? Norman's Rare Guitars. I like it because he refers to a man smaller than him as an alien repeatedly. Um, hey everybody, we're over idea. here at Norm's Rare Guitars, and I've got my friend David Wilcott from the TV show Ancient Aliens. That's right. And. He brought one with him. Right. In fact, we're all here. We're trying. Someone in the chat mentioned Mad Mad House. I watched that entire series, the first season anyway. I liked the guy who hung hung by his skin on the hooks. And that guy was pretty pretty cool. Sci-Fi Channel was great that year. When was that? 2003. Excellent, excellent stuff. The M Night Shyamalan. I did determine the fake M Night Shyamalan documentary. Loved it. What planet Joel came from? Because it's something way out there. And we want to know a little bit about his birth, if it even was a birth. <laughs> Poor Joel, man. I'm guessing this is Joel. And they're just freaking roasting him, calling him a little alien baby and stuff. So, uh, David, <laughs> what, what are your feelings? Well, I noticed with the, with the hair on the face that there's some indication that he might be one of the Wookiee type <laughs> aliens that we see out there. <laughs> yeah. so, but he wouldn't even be normal for one of those, right? Well, but he fixed my guitar amazingly well. I have a Les Paul custom, and I... David Wilcock saving this, man, this man's dignity. And he has a Les Paul custom. It's fun. Came in here thinking, I don't know if he's going to be able to fix this because the neck completely cracked. And what you did, I mean, you freaking brought that ball right over the touchdown line. <laughs> Just... I'm totally stoked. So no, that's what they do for... He watches sports. His planet. Well, wherever he's, he's from, he's got it back. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? I mean, you worked back there with him, John. Well, I mean, he was you know, sending messages, I think, to the planet UCB. Zoran, which we haven't discovered yet. They taught him how to fix that headstock, just like that. There you go. This is an antenna that he's got that's right good. there, too, which yeah. actually causes the access to occur, similar to the movie Avatar. Mark, I mean, you've worked with him for a while. What do you think? I mean, is there any explanation? He's not human. He's got All I can tell you, he's not human. Right. <laughs> well, we're trying to determine what type of intelligence, it <laughs> if is. any. <laughs> Shit, man, that's just that's rough, man. Why did you do that to your friend? All right, let's see if if Wilcock can get his shit together. Okay, we got something. So far, the answer is no. This is the beginning of one of his recent live streams. It starts with with him. Uh, not on camera. Okay, it says it's got an excellent connection. <laughs> Can you hear him, question mark? Um, I have been uh, doing introductions and shows that, <laughs> that I thought you were going to see, and then it turns out that you're not. Um, is it working now? Are people saying that they can hear me and see me and I'm not freezing up? They say it's better. It's better, okay. So what I had to do, folks, is just drop down from 18 megabits per second to 12. Uh, we do have a different internet situation where we are. And he explains it all. All of his issues, he, he explains them in, in way too much depth. I mean, tell me about your, your full rebuild again, please. Are now, so it's a little bit confusing. So it's a big difference between that and, as, as you may have also seen, the one that I just did before. Ethel. We had... Um, Be careful. We had a very, very upsetting thing happen after the show was over where an astonishingly bad red tint was added to the whole show that makes it unwatchable, okay? <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that I would like to write. Um, 
This man lives it. I don't know if you, let's play that again. Over where an astonishingly bad red tint was added to the whole show that makes it unwatchable. Okay, so I guess you didn't have to see the weeping David Wilk. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of camera cuts. So, he was um, weeping? We are going to be... I missed that. We, I should probably find the video of, of where he weeps. Maybe we'll watch that afterwards in the... Uh, in the, in the late night astral talk. Be describing for you current events, but in a completely boring and uninteresting way, because if I was interesting, if I told you even one-tenth of what I would like to tell you, then we wouldn't have a channel anymore. And that's the sad re- But what I'd like to do today- <laughs> A man tells you he has so much information for you that if he were to reveal it, uh, he would be he would be uh, canceled effectively, and then his audio cuts out, uh, and the rest of the video is out of sync for a second, and then it flips back on. It's such good stuff. Uh, is go right up to the line. Let's see if I can not get taken down. And his down. mouth is dry. <laughs> Let's see if I can talk about some stuff. It's just going to be boring and unspoke. So we are going through what I would call a global, very acrimonious divorce. Okay. And specifically, uh, what I'm looking for here is... He absolutely does. He has Crimbus special teeth. It's fantastic. I mean, w one day I'm going to have some, like, r stupid dentures. I mean, it's going to happen, but, uh, you know... I won't be live streaming them, I don't think. I mean, if I, whatever. I'm going to be a weird looking old guy. I don't give a shit. Is for you to understand how real this is, how many channels many that talk exactly the kind of Your stuff dunk. that you guys want me to talk about have been wiped away by making very, very simple mistakes that you only get one chance to make by simply talking about things that are true, or at least, and... I really, really hope that this... <laughs> Things that are true, or at least, and, oh, the timing, the timing. Global, so easy to understand mystery does not elude you. Bless you, Joe. That you're not fooled by what has been going on here. Because in my opinion, we are dealing with an outrageous outrageous level of deception here's the thing here's the thing he does mean QAnon. this this slime this scumbag is talking about QAnon. freaking dip um yeah it's depressing how many views this shit gets um yeah he is talking about that um but i think the uh technical technical difficulties persist uh so let's see let's see what happens you might have heard them called narcissists, but <laughs> psychopath is, is a common name. Now, uh, oh, psychopath, that's like Hannibal Lecter. That's like somebody who, you know, does all these crazy things. No, not necessarily. That would be an extreme example of a, of a violent psychopath. But you have to understand that the movies have really delighted you with a lot of disinformation about the idea that somebody with these types of characteristics that I'm about to describe would look evil, would, ha would have eyes that turn black, or their skin does something funny, or they, they just look hideous. It's a much less appreciated phenomenon. It's like the Alex Jones stuff where he's like, oh yeah, there's demons and stuff. Oh, yeah, right. And then, okay, he talks about the election in this one, too. Uh, but there's another video with some great technical difficulties, and apparently Q is in the chat, so if you have any questions, um, direct them towards Steven, uh, also known as, um, as Q. 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 Any moment now. It normally doesn't take that long. I know. <laughs> normally it doesn't take that long. I know. It says live, so. Oh, it's on. Okay. We got a black screen. Yeah. There we go. Let me just 
All right, I'm starting to get the hang of this, you know, it's actually like getting to be pretty freaking easy, believe it or not. Out of focus. You might not expect. All right. It's me, your fool, <laughs> your court jester, David Wilcock, the inimitable. <laughs> All right. So uh, oh, we haven't even really looked at my lights here. This is kind of... Let's fix that a little bit. <laughs> I've had a lot of. Come on, man! Once you're once you're on, once you're live, like come on, you got the lights. You leave the lights, man. A work going on, you guys, to get this slideshow together. This is going to be really amazing. I'm very excited about it. I'm really excited about this slideshow. slideshow. Uh, because I'll just get my little work area set up here and not get blinded by the lights. Jesus. This is some pretty cool stuff. Um, obviously, if you've been watching these videos, I am not thinking that this is the end of the world. We're going to go through some more of that stuff right now, including some very enigmatic posts from QAnon that just showed up. Oh, I just said it out loud. I guess that means we're shadow banned. Okay, well, let's just try to edit out that part. I said uh, 17, right? The number 17 is the... Man, what a shithead. <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> you're doing a live stream. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll edit that out. And then when you post it, you don't even edit it out. You like edit it out, it's just like an expression. Come on, like, no, we'll just say 17. Right, yeah, because that doesn't make you sound like some kind of fucking weirdo. <laughs> right, that doesn't make you sound like a white supremacist or any other uh, group that just uses numbers to refer to. Their fringe beliefs. Come on, man. Um, let's skip forward a little bit because there are more technical difficulties. Or we'll just, we'll let it roll. We won't get more than like five minutes into this. The technical difficulties are all at the front end. Seventeenth letter of the alphabet. We know what that is. Anyway, um, you guys asked for more shirts. I, I think I actually stole this one from Emery Smith. Uh, I love this shirt, but I just kind of came into it you know it was like emery was living with us for a while for about two weeks oh she wants me to comb my hair okay we can do that he was living with us for i don't know it was like a <laughs> month or something two months something it was a long time somehow i came in 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 contact with this shirt and now it's mine so maybe we'll call it a rent payment <laughs> no i love emery and uh we're all good so you know shirt jokes just shirt humor you thief you scumbag. scumbag, you thief, you, thief. you stole the shirt off, off of a man's back. 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 <sighs> All right, I didn't start too late, huh? That was pretty cool. And uh, we reset this based on where it was when uh, my wife was doing it before. <laughs> Daddy's and home I'm going to move that light a little bit closer to me. It's moving the lights again. You know, this is like, we are literally doing this, you know, most of the time I spend, I spend on slides. Right, yeah, yeah. The PowerPoints are really eating up our time. We can't move the lights before we hit, hit the play button. Oh, no. So anyway, there we go. That's probably going to look better. Yeah, a little bit closer. All right. Um, man, I'm too anal. i got to just stop this. Yeah, knock it off. Yeah, that's a real awkward way to begin a video. How about that, huh? We're, like, not exactly winning here. A lot of people have already clicked off, and they're bored, and they're... God, who is this Jagoff, right? This, <laughs> Indeed. This sputtering fool who can't push words out of his mouth because he's too busy doing all the stuff he's supposed to do before the video started. Yes, we agree. You know what? This is real life, man. This is us living at home and doing broadcasts from home, and we just so happen to have built this whole crazy get up here so I can turn from camera to camera and... Uh, it all looks good. We're in focus. These are Hollywood lenses, Sigma lenses, yeah, Black Hollywood. Magic Design Ursa Mini Pro uh, G2 cameras. Let's get more into the technical aspects. With the Black Magic ATEM switcher, this is some high-end stuff, folks. This is like what you'd run a regular TV network on. And beautiful. It's what part of what I invested in last year from Ascension Mystery School. This year we're doing one called The Great Awakening. <laughs> And we had it all on schedule for a year, and then all of a sudden, in early March, out comes this crazy, crazy global situation. 
I have mutuals with his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. I like it. Um, oh, okay. I guess let's get into this. 90 minutes until 10. Three and a half by 11 equals 911. Can anyone follow that? Let's hear him talk about it. Seven, three squared is nine. You got the nine. That's a 911 reference. And I didn't realize how significant this was until other stuff came out afterwards. But it's actually talking about the fact that my personal car crash, the one that I had, is emblematic of the car crash that would happen to the whole planet in 9-11. And it was the same. You're out of You're your, out your gourd. Of your gourd. Out of your gourd. Out of your gourd. Out of your gourd. Friend. 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 I beg of you. I beg of you. I beg of you. Return to your gourd. Return to your gourd. Return to your gourd. Return to your gourd. All right. Well, hey, let's fucking watch this thing. Shalom Aleichem. Upon you be peace. I am the Archangel Metatron, the Angel of Thought and Esoteric Wisdom, known as the Scribe, or Recording Angel, the Chancellor of Heaven. I am the one who supervises the archives of the Akashic Records where all your thoughts and deeds are recorded. I assist you to better communicate with the Most High by extending your mind to better... Can you imagine if this, if, if you, if this actually was a metaphysical being, if it actually is a metaphysical being, that the, um, the, the messages are communicated in this way, the blasts, the downloads come in videos like this. I mean, that's where I want to be. That's the way I want to live. Receive divine guidance. The name Metatron, like Samuel Fon, and Sin, on, instead of, L, signifying my origin as a human being prior to ascending at the end of my human life. Like, this is cool. Prior to ascending to become an archangel, I was a human named Enoch. My ascension into heaven is recorded in the book of Genesis, chapter 5, verse 24, where it states, And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. While Samuel Fon, presides over the exit to the spheres of the Kabbalah's tree of life. I, Metatron, preside over the entrance to the spheres of the Kabbalah's tree of life. My Fuck, it's just so hard to follow shit like this in the, in the, the computer generated voice and the, just the blasting tone. I love the audio on this though. It's really, really great. And yeah, the animation is flawless, clearly. God, it's so good. Oh, there's some, oh, this looks, Fucking cool. Later, let's check this out. A line. That line became a wall. That wall became a square. The first dot split like a daughter cell into two. <laughs> shit, I like this. The dot became a line. The line became a wall. The wall became a square. The first dot split like a daughter cell. This is sick. This is what I'm into. This is what I signed up for. A line. That line became a wall. That wall became a square. The first dot split like a daughter cell into two, and the second dot formed a circle by completing one cycle around itself. No one knows where the circle begins, or where the circle ends, except the one who created it. The circle began to spin, creating an orb, manifesting 360 degrees of square, and 360 degrees of circle. The circle was turned inside out, and placed within the confines of the square. The square that you know on this plane is not the same as its counterpart on the spiritual Holy plane, shit. the plane of force. These planes cannot be perceived by the ordinary- The plane of force? This is... This is fucking cool. I'm super into that. He's getting into like Metatron's cube, right? Um, this is from a channel called Big Head Scientist. There's more. Um, where is it? This one. This is an archangel. Look at that. Greetings, my beloved. I am Yuhuel, also known as the Archangel Uziel. Hi, buddy. The beings which you have come to know as angels are in fact extraterrestrial and interdimensional entities. In your Bible, the angels are called by the name Elohim, and the word angel simply means messenger. Oh, didn't you guys meet Derek last week or whatever? That guy's cool. He came and he came and found us. Uh, to let to he said he said, "Hey, Ponus is looking for you." I said, 
Who? And then later I found out that it was all you, all of you. Um, but you know, you really got to be careful. I mean, that, there's some of the doors around here. They, you can end up somewhere you don't really want to spend a lot of time or, you know, not all the entities are just going to hang out with you and watch videos. Do you know what I mean? Like there's some other stuff that happens around here that you never, like that, shit like that, that you don't know what it is. And it's just, can, so I'm glad you're here. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad everything turned out okay. But, um, yeah, I don't know about, I don't know about Derek, whatever, but maybe Derek's cool. I don't know. I just, I got kind of a weird vibe, you know, he like burst into our zone and he's like, Ponus, Ponus seeks. And we're like, what? Wait, what? That kind of, a, that kind of a thing. He seems cool. I don't know. For I have come to you today to deliver a specific message. I am the angel of the eighth ray. I am one of the Archangels of the Five Secret Rays, who exist outside of the seven major Archangels, whose names have all been revealed. I am the strength of the Elohim, the Archangel with the Everlasting Gospel, for that Gospel, my beloved, is the integration of all of the seven rays, which combines all of the world's religions, and combines all of the seven seals of the Book of- All of the world's religions? That's a tall order, my friend. ...causes the heart to develop a hardness, a dense encasement and incrustation, which dampens and attenuates the heart's frequency. When the people do not have light, their hearts become surrounded with darkness, and darkness instead of light, becomes the defense of the heart chakra. chakra. Let thy chest be opened, and thy heart be purified and cleansed, Alan Shear. Bless the chest, and strike the pest, as we say in my hometown. Uh, what else do we got? Um, what is this? I don't even know what this is. There were secret societies that were involved. Shut up, Gaio. Get out of here. Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis. Come I mean, okay, based on the first six seconds, I'm in. Let's check that out again. Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. And tonight our question comes to us from Draconum Blade. And Draconum Blade remarks upon having read a book about the subject of sexual intimacy on the astral plane. And Draconum Blade asks whether this is possible. And my answer to that is that yes, absolutely it is possible. Many people have experienced it. Uh, in fact, in the 19th century, there was at least one whole church founded purely on the idea of spiritual ascension through sexual encounters uh, with angelic beings. Uh, the Church of Carmel, I believe it was. Uh, so this is not a particularly unusual idea. I know plenty of people who uh, have had this sort of experience. However, what it actually is, is another matter. And uh, I was taught that when you experience the touching of two souls, the conscious mind will sometimes interpret it in a sexual manner because it's the only thing the conscious mind knows ah. that is equally intense. But the actual nature... Right, that's why your your brain uh, turns everything into like boners and stuff. You know, that's Carl Jung. Carl Jung said that. Carl Jung said, hey man, all the mind sees, sees is boners, dude. So, <laughs> watch out, watch out. ...of the experience is not necessarily sexual in the sense that we would understand it in this world. Uh, I think it depends a lot on what your intentions are. Uh, as I say, there have been whole movements dedicated to the idea of seeking out sexual relationships uh, through the astral plane. Uh, and I think that there are also circumstances, of course, where the experience is not exactly intentional, but comes to us in a dream or during meditation, etc. Uh, and in those cases, again, the actual nature of the circumstances uh, are not necessarily as they appear. So I hope this helps and uh, gives you some idea about this phenomenon. And... Right, Freud said everything is boners, but then uh, Jung had the phallus, the, the, the phallus on the throne dream. Um... So that's, it's a similar thing. Until next time, may you blessed be. Look at this. Look at that.
witchschool.com. They will not teach you how to um, mix tambourine in your song, though. That's Go to a different website for that. So it's from a channel called Magic TV. It's probably some cool stuff there. Oh, boy, is there. Lord Don's Library of Horror, Carnival of Souls. Oh, nice. Yeah. Ooh, witch stuff. Sign me up. I mean, what you got to do with channels like this is you just scroll like... Oh, shit. I was going to say scroll all the way to the bottom, but it looks like there's... Coming of the Techno Witch? I mean, shit, sign me up. Um, yeah, scroll to the bottom. I mean, hopefully... <laughs> Reverend Don's vlog. Won't someone think about the children? That's, that's probably bad. Unhappy again. Let's watch that. Um... Yeah, you want to go... Early uploads of this kind of stuff is always... Oh, shit. Oh, man. Well, let's check... He has a video on brakes. <laughs> he also teaches you about, like, auto repair stuff. I'm super into it. Come on, Don. Bless me. Man, he, he's been doing this for years, it seems like. And he's growing out the hair, and he's, he's keeping up with the times. The video looks good. I liked his old intro, but this is nice. Hello! He's just a Seinfeld fan. He's just into, he just likes that Seinfeld gag. I'm, in, I'm into that. coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today we have a question from Skeptic Psychologist. And Skeptic Psychologist has this question. What's up, two turtles? Uh, among many others, but this one I'm going to answer today. And that is, are there any emergency brakes that you can put on if something goes wrong during a witchcraft session? And the first thing that must be acknowledged about this question uh, is that the phrase, something goes wrong, is a very broad term. Yeah. And it's not necessarily a one-size-fits-all answer. Fuck! It can apply to a number right. of... What's the deal? What is... What is the deal with this fucking thing? What is the deal? What are you... Who are you? What are you... Fuck. I don't need this. I don't want this. I don't... I don't need... I don't care about... I don't need... I don't... I... What? Yeah, so, so now, now instead of, you know, just waiting for my <laughs> uh, turn to talk, you know, I'm actually listening because uh, he might not be a doctor, but he is my dog. And, uh, you know, the more teeth you have, the closer you are to the earth. And, you know, each, each bone is a rock. Uh, fortune's not a DMT. DMT. My lawyer told me that as long as I kept my eyes closed, they wouldn't be able to start a trial. Now, later I found out that that was true. Let me get this straight. George Bush. George W. Bush. As if we wouldn't notice, they, they look practically the same. They look like the same guy. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for... Thanks for having me. Big boy. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna move it over to the Patreon thing. Um, give me 10 minutes. Maybe give me 10 minutes. I gotta set that up. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I might make a green tea. I implore, I, I expect you to do the same. Uh, a very big blaze to all of you. Uh, a big blaze. Big blaze. Uh, that video will be on YouTube in, um, in like an hour. I scheduled it uh, for an hour from now. 
because I'm going to do the Patreon thing and whatever. Uh, but big place, everybody. I love hanging out. I love, I love, I thought we saw some good stuff today, and I thought it was very nice. Uh, hey, how about this? How about we end on a positive note? Uh, how about we, how about we end with our good friend Dick Spargel? All right. I'll see you. I'll see you on YouTube, see you on YouTube with the Patreon. With Patreon.